Okay, this is 11.3 electric potential difference. So electric potential difference, well before we can talk about the pot potential difference, we're going to talk about the idea of electric potential. So electric potential, this is the potential energy It's potential energy, just like gravity was a type of potential energy. You might, re might remember when we learned about energy, all energy has one of two forms. It's either kinetic energy or it's potential energy. Those are the only two types of energy, so electric potential is a type of potential energy. It's this stored energy inside the, um, the substance. It's potential energy that comes about from electrons being packed together, from electrons packed together. If there's a bunch of electrons near each other, they want to move away from each other. They're pushing against each other. So that's our electric potential energy. And electric potential difference is just the change in the change in potential electric potential. between two points. And our symbol for electric potential difference is V. You might have seen that before. V for voltage. That is potential electric potential difference. So our equation here, V is equal to delta E over Q. And we'll talk about Q in just a second. Delta E is our change in energy. Okay, and our units here are V for volts. And that can bit get a bit confusing because the variable is called V, the units are called V. Okay, so in that equation we saw Q. Q is called the quantity of electrons. So does this guy Q, which is the number of electrons. Another um, thing we can say, we can also say that it's the amount of charge. And it has units of C for Coulomb. So those are our units, C for Coulombs. Okay, so Q is just telling us basically how many electrons do we have. Now, the number isn't actually literally how many electrons. It's uh, measured in coulombs, where one coulomb is a whole bunch of electrons. But that's basically what we're talking about with Q. So V is the change in energy over the number of electrons, or over the amount of charge. So it's saying how much did each electron change in terms of how much its energy had. Okay, so we'll see how we can uh, do some calculations with that. It says calculate the electric potential difference between the negative and positive terminals of a battery if 1500 joules of electric potential energy is transformed to move 125 coulombs of charge between the terminals. So we're using 1500 joules to move 125 coulombs. Each of those electrons is going to get a certain amount of energy and that's our V. So V equals delta E over delta Q, uh, V, sorry, V equals delta E over Q. Our change in energy was 1500 joules. Q, the charge, was 125 coulombs. And this gives us 12.0 volts. And that's it. That is our voltage. So you see that th these Equations are all quite simple. Uh, we looked at the equation last time for power and energy. Now we're looking at the equation for voltage. And then there's a little bit of information down here at the bottom because we're going to start looking at circuits. Circuits are where we have um, a sort of a closed loop that electricity is running through. And usually we have some sort of battery or some sort of power source in there. So here we have a battery. Here we have a battery in this one as well. And then the, the electrons, we, we usually say that the electrons, or that the current flows, flows, flows from positive to negative, like this. So our current is going through like this, 
and around in a circle, and then it goes back to our battery. And then we have a few other things in here. We have a switch, and we have some lamps or light bulbs. We call those lamps. Okay, so we have a couple lamps. We have a uh, switch. That's what we're dealing with there. And so we're going to be measuring soon. We're going to be measuring current and voltage and all these things that are happening inside those circuits. Before we can do that, we need, need, to, we need to just understand a bit about the different types of circuits. You've probably heard this before, but there are two types of circuits, series and parallel. And so a series circuit is a circuit with only one complete path. So this is a circuit with only one complete path. So you can see that the electrons, as they're going around this first one here, they only have one choice all the way. They don't get to change directions at any point. They're just going around in a circle. That is a series circuit. And a parallel circuit is like the one below. This is a circuit with more than one complete path. So if we look at the picture to the right of this one, you can see that we're going around, we're ignoring this switch for now, anyway we're going around and when the electrons or when the current gets to this point here, the current can choose. It can either go down this way or it can go down this way. And so that's what's hap what happens is some of them go the first way and some of them go the second way. So if you're thinking about it as electrons actually moving around, which is not quite what's happening, but we'll talk about that later, in any case, the current chooses one of the directions or the other, so that half of it goes down one way and half goes the other way. Then they join back up again here. So that's our parallel circuit. And the last thing we're going to talk about here is a voltmeter. So this lesson is all about potential difference or, or volts. We just did a problem involving volts. So in the real world, when we have this sort of circuit and we want to measure voltage, if we want to measure how much potential difference there is, in our circuit, we use something called a voltmeter. And a voltmeter has a symbol that looks like this. It's a V with a circle and that goes on our, on our circuit somewhere. So that's our voltmeter. And the really important thing is that voltmeters, well, they're used to measure V, the electric potential difference, so the potential difference. And to use them to actually measure something, they must be connected in parallel. And I'll draw a picture of what that looks like. Remember we said potential difference is measuring the difference in energy between two points. So if I have some circuit here, um, I'll just draw a simple circuit, something like this. And let's say I've got just a single lamp here. Just like that, and then we close it up again. There's my lamp. If I want to find out what the voltage is across that, um, that lamp, I want to measure the difference in the energy that each electron has, the difference in the energy of the electrons from one side to the other. Well, I take my voltmeter, I connect it here, and I connect it here, and I put my voltmeter there. And you see how now we have connected it in parallel. The electrons now can still keep moving through the thing I'm measuring, or they can now move through my voltmeter, and that's how I'm going to measure the voltage across that is that I'm taking some of the electrons and putting them through my voltmeter so I can see how much they, uh, energy they had at the start and how much energy they have at the end and that's going to tell me the potential difference. Okay, 
that's how these work, and that's the end of the lesson. So um, give a try on those homework questions.